I'm Ryan McSherry, Business Development for Yokogawa. Today I'm going to show you how to disassemble and reassemble the large after optics or LAO assembly for the TLS 8000 series uh, while cleaning the window. Long path installation units denoted by optics accessory suffix variant LA will have a special window in the LAO or large aperture optics assembly at the sensor control unit or SCU side. The window on the laser unit side is a standard alignment flange window. Please see the alignment flange window cleaning and replacement video for more detail on cleaning or replacing the window on that side of the unit. Parts you may need for performing this replacement include K9771JS, which are uh, screws for uh, the attaching the SCU or LU to alignment flange or LAO, K9772TJ, the outer ring for alignment flange or O-ring for LAO, K9772KN, the LAO lens itself, K9771PG, the LAO lens gasket, K9771PF, the LAO lens O-ring. You'll need two of these, K9771PE, the LAO lens mounting body O-ring, K9771PH, uh, M6 L8 uh, millimeter flathead screws. You need four of those. Or instead of uh, taking it apart and putting it back together, you could just order one K9771NC LAO lens mounting body assembly. So it's basically a pre-assembled LAO. K9771PK, M8 L25 cap socket screws. You'll need four of those. Those are for mounting the LAO to the alignment flange. K9771PL, M8 flat washers, you'll need four of those as well. Those go with the K9771PK cap socket screws. Turn off power to the analyzer if required. Turn off optics purges. Keep window purges on if not an asphyxiant to keep the area cool, clean, and dry if you don't have an isolation valve. If window purges are off, then time without purges should be minimized to a couple of minutes where an isolation valve is not present. Otherwise, remove the entire alignment flange assembly from process and install a blind face flange temporarily. It may be best to remove the analyzer head first to minimize time without purge in this case. Close the process isolation valve if applicable. Using the M5 Allen wrench, first loosen the captive screw connecting the analyzer to the LAO or large after optics assembly. You'll know it's sufficiently loosened when it hangs freely. You don't want to keep loosening it, otherwise it will drop out and you'll lose it and you have to replace it. Okay, then remove the remaining three screws, a couple of turns. Keep in mind that captive head screw is always on the top right uh, that I've loosened first. Okay, just a couple of turns is typically all that's required. You don't want to back these out all the way or the analyzer will fall off and you'll lose your screws. Okay. So now that I've got these loose in a couple turns, I'm going to take the analyzer head and rotate it counterclockwise until the cap of the socket screws aligns with the hole in the mating flange assembly and pull the analyzer off the flange. Note that there's a gap here and there's no process window. The window is actually inside the large after optics body. We'll go over how to remove that in the next piece. Okay, so now with the analyzer off the LAO assembly, we're going to remove the LAO assembly by itself. How we do that is we're going to take our M8 Allen wrench and just loosen these cap head screws. Okay. Keep in mind that these are not captive screws, so it's best to loosen them a little bit first until you can get them out with your fingers and then do the rest uh, with your fingers. Note there are washers also on the bottom side. So be careful not to lose the cap head screws or washers. It's a good idea, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, to maybe keep uh, some of these parts on hand in case you do drop one through grading or something like that. So now with them loosened, I'm just gonna take these out and set them to the side. Again, take note that there is a washer on each one of these screws. Try to keep that washer on the screw if you can. And the third one. And the last one. Okay, now we got all four out. Keep in mind if this has been installed in process for a while, especially in high heat, that this uh, may sometimes stick a little bit. It will come off. Uh, you might just have to pull a little bit. So it comes off just like that. Now you can see the LAO lens here. 
Um, again, if you buy a whole pre-assembled LAO, um, you can actually just at this point take this piece off, put the other piece on, maybe go disassemble, clean this up, reassemble it in the shop. That way you have a rotating spare. Otherwise, let's go uh, show you how to take it apart, uh, clean it up, and put it back together. Another thing to mention is while this is off, sometimes because you have the lens exposed, you can be successful with just uh, bringing lens wipes up to the process unit and cleaning this up. Make sure to use, um, you know, up and down or side to side motions. Don't swirl to uh, clean this, otherwise you can create swirling on the lens. Um, note also with this removed that now you are exposed to process. So now that we've got the LAO off and we've taken it back to the shop and we're going to go the route of taking this back apart, cleaning it up and putting it back together. Uh, we can go ahead and get started. So keep in mind on the LAO that there's two sides. So you got this one, this was the side the analyzer was mounted to, okay, it's with the hole in it. Then you got your other side. This is what interfaces with the process and gets mounted on your alignment flange. The lens is on this side, this is where we're going to start. So take your large Phillips head screwdriver first and we're going to loosen these four Phillips head screws. Keep in mind uh, that these can be in there a little bit snug because they are loctited in. So, um, you know, just make sure that you hold uh, pressure while you're loosening them. Otherwise, it's possible to uh, strip out the head of the screw and then you got another repair to work on. Okay. These are a little bit easier, I think, because I've already done this once. Make sure you put your screws off to the side so you don't lose them. Try to keep them all organized into one spot. Okay, so now that I've got all four screws removed, we're going to remove the LAO adapter ring. This can be a little bit difficult to get off. There we go. And you can actually see that the glass is sitting here on top of this, this uh, O-ring. Okay. So now that the mounting plate's removed, we're going to go ahead and take the gasket out here. See this blue gasket comes right out. We'll eventually replace that. Um, you can go ahead and take this O-ring off too, replace it if you need to. Okay, now we're going to take the LAO, take uh, care not to touch the lens service directly, um, you know, just to avoid contamination. So we're just going to take this off here. Okay, came off. Uh, note that it was seated on the top of this ring with this O-ring, so we're going to remove this O-ring, which is kind of stuck on here. It's been installed for quite a while, so you can get a better angle. See, I broke this one. If the O-ring's in good shape, it may be possible just to leave it. Because otherwise, it's okay, we got a spare. I'm gonna have to replace this and clean it up. Okay, we might clean this up a little bit better on this edge here with a the pick. There's still a little bit of residue from the old O-ring. It's been installed for quite a while. Okay, I take this, put it off to the side. Okay, so now with the LAO lens off, you can either replace it if it's too uh, badly damaged or contaminated. Uh, if you see a lot of black spots and stuff like that on it, it's probably not going to be able to be cleaned. But you can go ahead and try. So, I'm going to spray it with a little bit of lens cleaner. Grab a chem wipe, fold it over a couple times, and remember make strokes in one direction to clean it up. Okay, so this wasn't very badly contaminated. Another thing I didn't mention before, but if it is or has a high amount of particulate, you want to take it and spray a little bit of compressed air just to clean off any particulate so you're not rubbing that in. This doesn't have an optical coating, but swirls can still impact the optical signal. Okay. Spray a little bit of lens, lens cleaner on the other side. And we'll wipe it off in one direction again, not making any swirls. Okay, that looks clean and dry. Set it back down. Okay, 
So um, now that we're back, um, we've got the uh, LEO glass uh, pretty well cleaned up. I was able to get a lot of the residue from the uh, O-ring off the edge or just had kind of been baked on. Um, if you aren't able to do that or if you're not able to adequately clean it, then it's best to go and replace this piece of glass. Uh, that's K9772KN is the replacement part for this glass. So with, uh, without further ado, uh, let's get to reassembly. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take one of our K9771PE uh, LAO lens mounting body O-rings and go ahead and put it in this outer black groove here on your LAO body. You may need to do a little bit of work, you know, kind of rolling it out to make sure it fits in that groove. Okay, we got it seated nicely. Then we're going to take our K9771PG LAO lens gasket and insert it into the assembly. Then we're going to take our glass piece, K9772KN, the LAO lens, and we're going to insert it with the convex side facing up or the raised side facing up. I don't know how well you can see that. You can see it's kind of raised up on this side closest to my index finger. And so we're going to have that facing up. Drop it in. Make sure to hold the glass on the sides. Try not to smudge up the uh, window and undo all the work you just did previously. We're going to go ahead and put a K9771PF LAO lens, lens O-ring in right on top of the glass inside the, uh, the black body's edge here. Okay, this is what is going to prevent our uh, LAO lens uh, mounting plate from you know cracking it or whatever. It's going to hold it in place. So. Um, this mounting ring, when you reinstall it, you don't want to put the big side down. If you do that and try to tighten it up, uh, I don't think the Phillips head screws will even reach, but if they do, you may crack the glass. So what we're going to do, and, and you'll know you're putting in the right side if the side with the O-ring groove is facing up. We're just going to mount this right back on the assembly, and we're going to rotate this flange until the uh, counterboard or countersunk uh, holes are lined up with the threaded uh, connection. So basically through holes go to through holes and the parts where the screws go in are going to be uh, over the countersunk parts. So then we're going to take one of our M6 eight millimeter flathead screws, go ahead, put it in here. Just get it started with the Phillips head screwdriver. Don't tighten it at this point. You just want it to start catching on the threads. We're going to use a star pattern here to not put any uneven pressure on the glass. Okay, started feeling tension on that one. Okay, last one. Okay, now that these have all been kind of started, we're just going to snug these up. Try to put even tension on the screws. Um, something I didn't do here is put Loctite Red on these screws. Um, you'll want to do that if you're reinstalling this on process, um, but this is just a demo unit, so I didn't do that in this case because it kind of makes it a pain in our training center for people to take this back apart. So um, you would want to normally use Loctite Red on those threads though for these screws. Okay, something I didn't show uh, in my disassembly part of this video is removal of this K9771PE. Uh, it's another one of the lens uh, mounting body O-rings. It's actually the same dimension as the first O-ring we put in uh, in this reassembly part of the video. So we're just gonna roll that right into this groove. In this case, this one was good enough to reuse, so that's what we're doing here. There, oh. Sometimes you have to work at these a little bit to get them seated. Okay, so now we got that O-ring in place in the channel. We're going to go ahead and flip this around. Again, I didn't show this, but this is the, um, the outer O-ring. It's identical to the one you'd actually see on a regular alignment flange. Um, it's where your process interface uh, mates up with the LAO body. This is a K9772TJ. In a lot of cases, it's fine to reuse, but um, just in case I thought I'd go over on how to replace it. So, again... Kind of hard here with two hands. That one's uh, it's reasonably well seated at this point. So we are ready to go ahead and put this back on process. Uh, keep in mind that you'll need to still have these four screws on hand. These are 25 millimeter long M8 screws, uh, cap heads with uh, washers. 
So these are what we're going to use through these holes here to mount it back to the alignment flange. Okay, so now we've got the LAO all uh, reassembled, ready to go. We're going to put it back on our alignment flange. Um, note that orientation really isn't, imp isn't important, but uh, something that may save you a little bit of time so you're not having to swap screw configurations around. I remember that's where that captive screw on the analyzer goes, so you want to keep it on the top right. So this is the bottom part with the lens on it. That's what's going to go right up against your alignment flange. So we're just going to make sure that inner O-ring goes in here on the alignment flange. So I'm holding this with one hand. I'm going to take the uh, M8 uh, 25 millimeter screws with the washer on it. Go ahead and get this started. I'm just going to get it finger tight. It'll kind of hold itself in place at that point. Last one. Okay, we're going to take our M8 Allen wrench. Just go ahead and snug these up. Again, there's no torque spec on them. Just don't go crazy on it. Should be just about what you can do with one hand. A little bit limited working space here, but not anything unlike you'd see on a normal process installation in a lot of cases. All right, and now your LAO body is back on your alignment flange. Next, we'll uh, show how to install the analyzer back onto your LAO body. Okay, so now that we've got our LAO body back on the alignment flange, we can reinstall our analyzer. Um, you're going to want to line up the mounting flange into the holes on this, this uh, flange interface here, and then we're going to twist it clockwise to lock it in. See, now at that point it holds itself. Go ahead and hold it up tight up against here, and loosen, or sorry, tighten that top right um, captive screw. A little adjustment, there we go. And then we're going to use our M5 Allen wrench to go ahead and tighten it up. So I always go ahead and start tightening this, uh, this fixed uh, captive screw here first because that's in a fixed position. There's no wiggle room here. And then tighten up the other ones. Okay, now you can open up your isolation valve if applicable, turn on your window and optics purges, and restore power to the unit. I hope you found this video informative. Uh, for more information, visit us on our website at yokogawa.com slash us, uh, email us at support.us.yokogawa.com, or contact your local sales representative. Thanks for watching.